Oh, look at that. That is incredible. There we go. Mince and dumplings made. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're making mince and dumplings. Now I realise that there's people all around the world because I get loads of emails and comments saying they can't get the suet we use in the UK. I'm going to show you how to make perfectly light fluffy dumplings without suet. So stick around and let's show you how to do it. Right, in a pan, we want some oil. Want a flame on? I'm going to chuck in our onions. Now you can put garlic in as well if you want, that's up to you. Do we need to wait to put the onions in? No we don't, just put them in. A little bit of a stir on in there, not much. Okay, I'm going in there with my carrot. I'm going in there with celery. Give that a little shuffle around. I want to go in there with a pinch of thyme. A decent pinch, you know? We're flavouring this up. A little stir around. Going in there with our mince. Start to break your mince down in there with your veg. We're going to cook it all off together in there. That's going to give us the flavour in everything. In there with a pinch of salt. Salt to taste. In there with some freshly ground black pepper. Now I like my pepper, so the pepper's going in. Just put in whatever you need. In there with a dash of Worcester sauce. Probably about a tablespoon actually. And let's just start to stir fry all that in there together. Cook, up, cook down that mince. That smells like a pan full of flavour there already. That smells tremendous. Now for mince and dumplings, it depends where you are in the world. Or even where you are in the UK. Some people don't put any veg in whatsoever, they just cook with onions and mince. This is just a bit of a filler. In there with a good tablespoon of tomato puree, tomato paste, whatever you know it by. And just stir it in with all that fluid that's come out of the onion, celery, carrots and beef. Now it's chucking it down outside here today, so this is a fantastic, outstanding meal to be enjoyed in this wet weather. Or cold weather, depending where you are. Look at that fluid in there. We haven't added any yet. So just keep giving it a little stir over. Now, I don't think it's going to burn with the amount of fluid that's in here. But just turn it over, make sure it all cooks through. Now, don't worry about recipe, add anything, take anything out, entirely up to you. Every family has a different recipe for mince and dumplings. The idea of mince and dumplings is to give, it a f uh, give you a full meal, you know, so you can enjoy. It doesn't matter what you put in here, what you serve it up with. Okay, as long as you've got mince, and we're talking beef mince in this case, not pork mince or chicken mince. So this is beef mince. Nice little stir through there. That's virtually cooked in there. We're going to go in with our gravy. Now this is going to have lumps in because I had not had to, time to stir it up, but not to worry, they'll break down. So let's have that in there. So just get that in there, let it start to thicken up and cook everything in there. And then when we transfer this to our glass tray, I'm using a glass tray, we'll put some of the gravy on one side and then we can serve the gravy up with it. 
It depends what you're serving, you know, if you're serving mashed potatoes with it, the gravy will come in handy. So just give it a little stir through, make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. And what we're trying to do is just thicken up this gravy a little bit without actually using corn flour. If we have to use corn flour and water to make a slurry to thicken it, so be it. Okay, that's quite thick enough for me. We actually want some gravy in our um, tray when we put this in. So that's enough like that. Okay, so we want the flame off. Now that's the cooking done. Obviously we're going to cook in the oven. But that's the cooking done in the pan. Put to one side. Okay, we're going to make dumplings without suet. So this helps everybody. New Zealand, America, wherever. Okay, if you can't get suet, this is how you can make light, fluffy dumplings. That is self-raising flour. Now, if you cannot buy self-raising flour, there's a link up here somewhere to show you how to make self-raising or self-rising flour. That is baking powder. Just give that a little mix in. Now, you don't have to go crazy with that just get it in there this is vegetable shortening okay there's many many different makes online for vegetable shortening or baker shortening that's what we're going to use instead of the suet so we need to put that in there we want to go in this flour with a little bit of salt and we just need to mix that in with the flour like breadcrumbs, like we were making pastry. Very quick this, very easy, especially if you don't have suet. Now you can adjust the recipe slightly, take out some of the shortening, put a, a little bit of butter in, you have a different flavour. But we actually need the vegetable shortening or baker shortening in there. That's our fats. You can make it dumplings with all butter and it works reasonably well. So nice and gentle, rub through your hands, lift minute breadcrumbs on this. It's, it's smaller than pastry. Top job. Okay, we're going to make them herby dumplings. So we want to be going in there with some herb. I'm going to put some parsley in. Right, we're going to give that a stir through. Stir that in there. Okay, in here, an egg. Give it a beat. In here, some milk. Put your egg in there. Give it a little beating up put that in there now this recipe I've worked out and it looks wet and sticky at the moment it's perfect don't worry about it just mix it all in it's fine Now there's absolutely no point getting your hand in here because this stuff is as sticky as heck. And we don't really want to overwork it. Just bring it all together so you can't see any flour. That's our aim for this. Nice and steady so you can't see any flour. So that's our lovely stodgy dumpling mix made right there. Okay, I'm using this glass tray today. You can use anything, a tin tray, glass tray, stainless steel, up to you. Right, this is, for those that are interested, 11 inch by seven and a bit. So it's 11 by seven 
and a bit. That is it. Our mixture in there. Now it looks dry-ish. Don't worry about it. There we go. I'm using the High Sapientia air fryer oven as usual and we are going for about 170 degrees. Just let it preheat. Okay, our dumpling mix can't be any easier. All we're going to do is take a spoonful of dumpling mix and dump it on there. Now these are all going to come up with different sizes. Don't worry about it. On we go. And then what you do when you get to the end of whatever it is, if you've got any mix left in there, you add the mix back to the dumplings. Don't worry about the shape of these monsters. When they go in there, they're going to cook up from the bottom. They're going to swell out. They might even fill that whole top up, actually. So it's going in on a tray just in case it actually bubbles over a little bit. Okay, oven's preheated. That's going in there. Okay, we're in the oven. We are going to set it 170, 20 minutes. You would set your oven... 180 20 minutes we want a nice crispy dumpling fluffy inside slightly soggy underneath sitting in top of that gravy 20 minutes let it do its thing there we are we're done let's have that out of there <laughs> and we've got crispy dumplings which will be light on the inside fluffy and stodgy on the bottom yes so there you go that just shows it works now you can make dumplings like this in stew and not crisp them over you know we've cooked them in the oven you can cook them in a pot put a lid on and you get those big light fluffy stodgy type dumplings that we all love with stew but these are the crispy dumplings oh and what you could do you could have put a bit of cheese in there and you've ended up with cheesy crispy dumplings fantastic okay so let's get in here oh oh <laughs> And a bit of gravy to so just go on that mince. Oh, look at that! That is incredible. There we go, mince and dumplings made. They are absolutely perfect. Oh, look at that! All we got to do now is give it a try. Come on, let's show you these dumplings. Let me show you these dumplings, okay? Nice, crispy on top. In we go. Look at that. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Underneath, that little bit of stodge where it's been sat in the gravy. They are fantastic dumplings without the use of suet. Mmm. That is absolutely <laughs> incredible. I'm not kidding. On a cold, wet day, superb. That is mince and dumplings made. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Now, I will say they're fantastic, but, you know, I do like the beef suet dumplings. So if you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.